doing an egg jack. No mangroves hatching. Any variable kings hatching? Uh, nope, not yet, but they're getting close. How about the MB? Oh, there's condensation on top. How about, oh my gosh, the Mexican black kings are hatching. Wow, that one split right in the middle of the uh, ninja face. All right, cool. Hooray, first time with baby Mexican black kings. All right, they're gonna sit and we'll uh, cut them. Let's see, it's uh, eight o'clock tonight, so we will wait until tomorrow afternoon-ish. Mexican black king snakes. Mm. We have babies for the first time ever. They finally uh, hatched. One did anyway. At least one, yeah. So I think we'll come in tomorrow afternoon okay. and we'll cut the remaining two. Yes, finally, MBKs. Oh my gosh. The baby MBKs, it's been a day. Are any out? Oh, I to one's totally out. <gasps> oh my gosh, you're just as pretty as I had hoped. Wow, you are jet black. Oh my gosh. Okay, the blue faced one hatched. Oh, and you pipped. Okay, we'll have to cut that one right away because it's definitely been 24 hours, but oh my gosh, you are so pretty. Come here. Push this closed and close the door. Ed, look. Oh, did we get MBK? Yeah. Oh, hi, cutie. It's so pretty. It's like jet black, too. That is. Oh, my gosh. You are our very first MBK hatched at Snake Discovery. You're going to musk on me. You're trying to. Oh, uh, of course. It's a little uh, boy. I, girl, I think. Think it's a girl? Yeah. Oh, she's perfect. Except for the musky behavior. That's okay. You can musk all over Ed if you want. No. So we have to cut one more egg. Okay. One has pipped, but there's one left that hasn't. All right. All right. Time to cut the remaining egg and take another look. Uh, oh my gosh, two are out now. Aww. Oh, okay, disclaimer, it's the next day. Oh my gosh, there's two babies out. This one has like speckling. Whoa, look at that. There's like white marks down the side. I've never, uh, is that a baby MBK thing? I think they all have different amount of pattern. Oh. Basically. So that must be the second one out because this one is like jet black. So this was the one we were looking at yesterday. It still even has a little bit of modeling down near oh. the belly. Oh, the tail rattles. Oh my gosh, look at them go. They're both rattling now. All right, we are going to help out this last egg. Just, oh, you, you did strike. Oh my, you don't hiss. They don't hiss, they just bump you with their nose. Okay, and, and their teeth. All right, guys, it's okay, calm down. We have one more of your friends to hatch here. There we go, we'll put that aside. We aren't obviously expecting any morphs or anything. We're just looking for another completely black snake. Oh, This ooh. is one of those where I'm like, why would you go for a morph? Yeah, they're so pretty as is. Here you go, little buddy. We're gonna help you in case you're stuck inside this egg. Okay, is there a healthy baby in here? <gasps> oh. Oh, weird. Oh. oh, it's just veins. Yeah, but there's like weird discoloration underneath. Are you alive? Ooh. Mm -hmm. I don't Possibly. know. Maybe. I guess we'll give this baby another day to come out. Hopefully it's alive. If not, I mean, that happens sometimes, but we have two adorable babies so far. You're sassy. Oh, you're so oh. sassy. Oh my gosh. They're silent though. Yeah. I'm used to hissing. Yeah. And they, they feel bulky, like for ha as small as they are, they're, they're a thick bodied baby at Colubrid. Look at you. And they have stout little faces. Oh, okay. I'm also used to the bull snakes, which have like longer noses. Long, skinny faces. Yeah, these guys have very round, short, blunt little faces. That's really cute. Oh my gosh. Are you checking out the camera? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. We made Mexican black king snakes. Our first ones. Okay, you encourage your brother or sister to come out and then we'll have all three of you. So we'll give you another night. Okay, it's been a couple days. Let's see who has hatched. Oh, we still have the two babies out. Oh wait, maybe, oh. Yep, two babies. Okay, does that mean that our third and final friend here is not actually gonna make it? Let's take a closer look. Oh my gosh, you guys are sassy. Look at your little tails rattling. Oh, you're in blue. No wonder you're angry. All right, I have to see. I wanna peek inside here first to see if your friend is actually gonna hatch or not. Oh, there's a lot of cloudiness in there. That, uh, I mean, I see kind of a baby inside, but I do not think we're gonna hatch. Otherwise, you'd see a clear baby. It'd be more obvious that there's a full, fully developed snake in there, which I do not see. So, no baby snake in there. We might 
Should, I, should we dissect this? Let's take a closer look, actually. Let's let's actually open this up. For science, I'm always curious to see, you know, what happened. Because this would happen naturally in the wild, too. Some baby snakes just don't hatch. And then those get consumed by foragers, like isopods and springtails. So it all goes back to nature somehow. But I'm just kind of curious now. What do we have inside of this egg if it's not going to be a baby king snake that's going to hatch? Did we stop developing halfway through? Oh, weird. I can't even pull out a snake. It's just like a single ball of scales in there. Interesting. I see I, what I believe are some organs over here, and I see some blob of scales over here. But is there actually like a snake inside? Okay, Ed has joined the chat. And uh, what, I, what I was just pointing out is there's like a side with organs and a side with like a blob of scales. That's as much as I can see. So there was like an attempt at developing a baby snake. I just see like half of the egg is scales and half of the egg is the organs that were supposed to go into those scales. So we're going to close that back up. Definitely not a baby snake, but that's an interesting dissection there for sure. I wish I could do more without getting demonetized. But now let's focus on the positives. Our baby Mexican black king snakes. Oh my gosh. Hello. Oh, look at your tail red. Oh my gosh, you've got a grip. Holy moly, he is hanging on tight around my finger there. Wow, I've never had a bull snake or any snake hang on to me like that. Look at you. You can just hang like if I were a tree. That's really impressive, actually, the grip that you've got. But look at these beautiful Mexican black king snakes. One is lighter than the other now because he's in blue, so he's a lighter shade. But that is the one that actually hatched first. That'll be the one that goes into shed first. So this is actually our jet black one. And he's just, just in blue right now. So let's get these baby bins set up. All right, now you may have noticed that these bins look a little bit different than our other baby bins, and that's because we are using our brand new baby snake rack from Reptile Basics, from the time we toured their warehouse. We actually have these up and running, and well, it's not plugged in right now, but it is set up, ready to go, and we are gonna put our very first baby snakes inside, which are going to be these Mexican black king snakes. Now, because of how shallow these baby bins are, which is gonna be perfect for hog noses and small colubrids like these, we do have to make a few changes. For example, the water dish, we had to get a smaller PVC cap. Really, did you have to do that? Oh, and then the tail twitch. Uh, we had to get a smaller PVC cap than we've used in the past, so that fits inside while also still allowing enough of a gap for the snake to access the water. Uh, we also needed to use shorter than usual hides in the back so that the drawer could still slide in. And so what we're gonna do is we have a couple left of these 3 printed awesome snake discovery hides that a fan made for us. So we're going to use those. We also have, you know, uh, plants or foliage as usual. And instead of a rock, since we're kind of running low on those, I'm going to use a piece of cork bark. And this also provides uh, something else just to give them some mental stimulation inside. So a nice simplistic design that keeps things clean, but also keeps them entertaining to a point to the snake inside. All right, I'm going to grab our other Mexican Black King here. Set him in his baby bin. Actually, his or hers. We didn't sex these yet. Let's see, the, this one is, looks like a female. That's kind of a tough one. What would you say? I don't know. I'd probably say that one's a female. This one is, oh, definitely a female. That's an even stubbier tail. So we're gonna have to take another look before we sell them, but I'm guessing those are both females. All right, and into the baby rack. First ones in are a brand new species for us. That's so cool. There are our MVK babies. And their mom is on the table, actually. Their mom is right down here. Hi, pretty girl. You are gorgeous. And you blend right into that table, don't you? So I'm gonna pick you up here. I needed a hook to get her out because she has such a strong feeding response. Please don't try to eat me. I'm gonna trust you here. But this is what those babies will look like as an adult. They don't get terribly large and they're gorgeous snakes. They're handleable. They're amazing eaters, all of which make them fantastic starter snakes. So if you don't have a snake yet and you're trying to figure out what species to get, consider a Mexican black king snake. You can't go wrong with their appetite, their looks, their smallish adult size. They're just an excellent and usually underrated species. Also dressed in black is our Snake Discovery coffee. It comes in whole bean and ground, which you can get at snakediscoverystore.com. It's a coffee that I really like and actually has really good reviews. Not just saying that because it's our brand, but people who are actual coffee connoisseurs have given this stuff, made by Cold Blooded Caffeine Co., really, really good reviews. So definitely give it a try if you're a coffee fan. And with that, I want to thank you all so much
much for watching today's Mexican Black King Snake Baby video. We finally reproduced them. We made the med. We made MBKs. He's too tired. He apparently needs coffee. Here, yeah. drink this straight. Don't even, don't even brew it. Just pour the grounds into your mouth. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Perfect. So yeah, thank you guys for watching as we reach this tremendous milestone for ourselves, a brand new species, Mexican Black King Snakes. Thank you, Patreon backers, for your amazing support, and we'll see you next time. We did it!